Here we go, this next match underway, a big time matchup here for Dexter Doom as he takes on the Dark Order, Stu Grayson in a one-on-one -on -one matchup here as we continue along. No sleep till Broadhead from Remix Wrestling here at Broadhead Brewery in Orleans. Jimmy, I cannot even tell you how excited I am to see Stu Grayson here. Definitely a big surprise tonight. Nobody was expecting Stu Grayson here, and here he is. Stu Grayson, one of the members, like you said, of the Dark Order. I remember the first time I met Stu Grayson was in 2019, and I was working a merch table, and Stu Grayson was standing next to me, basically in a loincloth like how he is now, and uh, definitely forged a bond with him that night, and super excited to see him back here and looking great in his loincloth again, if I do say so myself. Certainly so. And certainly the fans here at Broadhead having a fun time as well, and... Stu Grayson takes that impact from Dexter Doom, a big time matchup for Doom, as this is the first time he's faced Stu Grayson one on one. Dexter Doom, also, you know, huge name in his own right. And these two guys is just a treat for everyone here, that's for sure. Stu Grayson so far, the early advantage off that shoulder tackle. Able to roll oh. through, catches them. And the sunset flip able to roll away. And now here comes Stu Grayson. He's got a hold of the neck of Dexter Doom. Dexter Doom, looking kind of confused here, honestly. Dexter Doom is normally, usually in control at the beginning of matches. Dexter Doom definitely kind of, I think, getting a little humbled here by Stu Grayson. Stu yep. Grayson always able to, you know, put out such great matches, such impact, and, you know, he's so much faster than you would expect. And you have to think as well, experience will certainly play a factor in this one. Dexter's Doom still a couple of years in the business, still proving himself on the independent scene. Stu Grayson a long time better and obviously making it to All Elite Wrestling. And now here he is facing off against Dexter Doom. As these two continue to face off, and what a moment this would be for Dexter Doom if he's able to pull off the victory here against Stu Grayson. Absolutely, Gibby. I would, I, I'm, I deign to say it may actually be the biggest win of his career up to this point. With Stu Grayson being as respected and you know having his own training school and just being on top of the wrestling world at this moment in time. And how lucky are we that we get to experience it here at Broadhead Brewery for Remix Wrestling? The fans are loving Stu Grayson right now as he's setting up for a signature of Stu into the senton, onto the apron, and onto Dexter Doom. Thankfully we got a nice cooperative crowd here tonight because I'm telling you, some of these wrestlers are definitely going into the crowd tonight. And now Stu Grayson going in for the cover, hooking the outside leg, and Doom is able to kick out. Stu Grayson, you know, having a good time out here tonight, kind of shaking his head like, you know what, I didn't really get him with that one, I can see that. Oh, straight right jab coming from Stu Grayson. Like Knock, he might have hurt his hand a little bit. Knocking Doom into the corner. Dream Grayson with the arm. Dexter Doom definitely not getting any kind of break here. And now a big back elbow coming from Stu Grayson as he continues to take control of this matchup over Dexter Doom, the dark horse. Dexter, Do Dexter Doom really got to try and shift the momentum here. Dexter, uh, Dexter uh, Doom has not been in control in this match. And Stu Grayson just, I would not want to, not of any of these moves, but especially that, I would never want to be on the receiving end. The crowd here. Elbow coming from Stu Grayson, and now Stu goes up to the top rope. He's got his eyes set. Doom able to recover. Nobody home there. Rolling through is Grayson. And now hits him with a sidewalk slam. Here's the cover. And oh. able to kick out. I heard the oh shit there from uh, from Stu Grayson. I think he was caught off guard there. Wasn't expecting to be taken down. So when we're talking about checking egos, maybe Stu Grayson got his ego checked a little bit there by Dexter Doom. Dexter Doom, not ever going to just lay down and say die here, you know. Certainly not. Especially a matchup like this for him. As Doom now gets Grayson into the ropes. Grayson able to reverse it, gets him up into a suplex, bouncing off of that ring. And it's just the power of Stu Grayson. Cover. Ah. Stu Grayson is, he's a big guy, but he's not enormous. He's not, you know, for a wrestler, he's, you know, he's pretty good size, but just the power out of Grayson. He can probably bench an unbelievable amount of weight. He can lift some of the biggest guys, and, you know, when watching him on TV, you can tell he's one of those guys who's got that secret arsenal of power that you definitely don't want to have to 
space in the ring. Very good vertical base for Stu Grayson. That's where a lot of that power comes in, as we heard that chop on to Dexter Doom. And now throwing Doom into the ropes. Doom able to scout and rolls his way outside of the ring. He was sensing that impending doom, no pun intended, from Stu Grayson. Yeah, you're good. And Stu Grayson. Oh! Going dangerous out here to the outside. Corkscrew blocks up to the outside. How you doing, Doom? Definitely uh, not really too confident here for Dexter Groom. I would not want to be in this position with Stu Grayson, that's for sure. And now Grayson continuing to go to work on Dexter Doom. As he's getting some members of the crowd out of the way. Maybe using that ring post for something. Oh boy. Oh boy, here comes Grayson. He's got him. Doom set up in a fireman's carry. Able to get out and head first into the ring post. My goodness. I I have no words for how hard the Stu Grayson just went into Randy the ring post there. My God. It's like, did he get knocked out cold? Like, I can't even tell. I can't, from this angle. Dexter Doom just wants him to stay down. If uh, you know, if Stu Grayson can't get up and back in the ring by the count of ten, then this is over. No. No. Doom taking the victory however he can. It will go in the record books of a win if it was a count out, but Grayson able to get back in and now just clobbering away at Grayson while he's on the mat, rolling him over into a cover and able to kick out his Grayson. Grayson still able to power out of that pinfall, but Grayson is hurting after that brutal hit to the ring post. Another cover here by Dexter Doom. And Big another, boot. Another kick out here by Stu Grayson. Big boot coming from Dexter Doom. Able to kick out, as you mentioned, Stu Grayson. And now Doom all of a sudden having a little bit of momentum on his side. What does he have to do here to try and continue that momentum? I think Dexter Doom really needs to keep Stu Grayson on the mat and take out his base at this point. Stu Grayson, you know, when he's up, he's got the momentum and he's in control. I think that Dexter Doom needs to keep leveling him and keep Stu Grayson off of his feet. Because when Stu Grayson gets on his feet, I feel like Stu Grayson has a bit more of the advantage. Here comes Doom into a Michinoku driver. Here's the cover, and able to kick out his Grayson. Once again, going into two. the pitfall attempt. And again, Grayson and again, kicking again. out. One, two, oh. Trying to force the pinfall, victory is Doom. With every time that Grayson has to kick out and exert energy, Doom is just hoping that this might be the time that, hey, I can just get it, just this time. As you can see there, Kennedy, the last kick out was the, the closest one. Strategy working pretty well, but not no dice. And now Doom has got Grayson set up here in the middle of the ring. What's he looking for? Oh, big punt kick. You can't really be mad. Grayson asked for it. He called for it. Right into the chest of Stu Grayson. And Doom's realizing he's got the momentum on his side here. Yeah, but Stu Grayson just, just letting Dexter Doom hit him. Another, another big kick coming from Dexter Doom. You gotta know at this point, Stu Grayson's literally letting Dexter Doom take shots at him. Stu Grayson might have something big brewing here. I can't imagine a wrestler just letting someone take unprotected shots at them. Oh boy, just like I said. Well, how fortunate that something is brewing here at Broadhead Brewing Company as Stu Grayson lays in the chops onto Dexter Doom and Grayson like that. The fire in him gets thrown into the ropes and takes down Doom. Unbelievable clothesline there by Stu Grayson. And now Grayson throwing Doom into the corner. Doom rolls over the top. Now trying to get to the top rope, trying to make the quick adjustment, but gets caught by Grayson. Definitely not a smart move there by Doom. Grayson had him scouted from the very beginning. There's the strike from Grayson. And now Stu setting him up. To Uranagi. And now the springboard. Oh. Twisting Senton coming from Sue Grayson. One. Here's the cover. And oh, able to kick out at two. That was just, just. I, I want to see the tape in that because I swear that was as close as you could possibly go. Stu Grayson definitely not happy with that. Stu Grayson thinking that we're over. He certainly thought so, but he's still got momentum on his side. He is in firm control. That remix wrestling chant. This is what it's all about here at the broadhead. And Sue Grayson 
try and look for Nightfall, but instead able to get out his Dexter Doom. Remix wrestling crowd showing deep appreciation for Dexter Doom and for Stu Grayson. This is definitely a match that we are so excited to see. Big move from Grayson with the Grayson DDT. Says, that's it. One, two, oh! Doom again able to kick out of that one after that DDT coming from Stu Grayson. Now at this point in the match, Gibby, Grayson is, you know, he's, he's tried so many things. Hopefully Grayson doesn't get sloppy in this, right? I mean, Grayson's still got the momentum, but all it takes is that one, two, three for the other side to win. Grayson with a splash in the corner, Doom able to scout it. Back elbow into the corner, now Doom with the momentum, using the body splashes to his advantage. Doom has got to keep this momentum going and keep just like that. Yes, Doom really needs to get going. Northern Lights suplex coming from Dexter Doom and now setting up in the corner. Here comes Doom with oh. the big knee right out to Grayson. Will this do it? Hook in the outside One, leg. Two. Oh, and oh. just like that. Stu Grayson able to kick out at two and three quarters on that one. I actually thought there for a, for a hot second that Dexter Doom may have just stolen this. May have just been a robbery here at the Broad Edge Brewery. Not a theft of beer, but a theft of this match. But we are still continuing here at Broad Edge Brewery. Remix Wrestling. These two men pulling it all out there on the line for us. No sleep till Broadhead. I tell you, these men probably ain't going to sleep too much after this match. Here comes Doom. Setting him up, got him over the shoulder. Right in the center, trying to get something going, but losing his grip. And now here comes Grayson. He sets him up inside, inside cradle. cradle. Two. Oh, oh, able to get out of it. Stu Grayson back up on his feet, rolling in, tilt to whirl. Black hole slam coming from Doom. Is the six? Oh. And no. Deep black hole slam coming from Dexter Doom, and he thought that was it. He's finished many before with that move, but not able to put away Stu Grayson on that one. That was 2.999999 if I've ever seen one. My goodness. If it's any more than a millisecond, that's what it was. And now getting him up, Dexter Doom. Yeah. Trying oh. to get him. Oh, oh, great adjustment from Grayson, able to trip up Doom. As Grayson sets up in the corner with oh. an Enziguri. Beautiful step up in Zaguri there from Stu Grayson. Looks like we're going to get some high risk, high reward here, hopefully. Stu Grayson going to the top rope. He may be looking at that 450 splash. We got some crowd chanting for Stewie. Oh. Stu Grayson up at the top. He's got his balance. Oh. 450 oh, gets caught with the knee. Dexter Doom got the knees up, and he's right back in it. Doom getting Grayson up over his shoulder. And this could be Doom's moment. This could be it for Doom. Gets him down. Will this do it? Dexter One, Doom, two, outside leg. Uh, oh. oh! And Grayson able to kick out. Just, just, just in the nick of time. I don't know how much closer Dexter Doom can get. If I was Dexter Doom, I would be so frustrated at this point. This man has tried everything. So many moves, so many jumps. Nothing seems to be working. Stu Grayson, just too powerful. Maybe it's the Dark Order powers, maybe it's the muscles, I don't know. He's just too powerful. You see the frustration on the face of Dexter Doom. He can't let it get to him as he tries to throw the Lariat, but Grayson able to absorb that impact. And now Dexter Doom once again trying to get Stu Grayson off his feet. Really throwing in that lariat, but Grayson not budging whatsoever. One more lariat. Grayson feeling that power. Is feeling Grayson that energy. even human? My good. Oh! Big knee right into the face of Doom. And now here comes Grayson. He's got him up over his the shoulders. Power of Grayson. My goodness. Stu Grayson gets him up, looking for nightfall. And he's on the tailbone. This could be it. 